course, as well. Oh, they're here. How's because, it going, guys? Because they want to know about our time in Salida, yeah. Colorado. Wild what? time. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty What wild. a day that was on that one. Um, yeah. Dan, <sighs> at any point in time, did you feel... How did you feel today? It was definitely second weirdest case we've done this whole trip in terms of the overall vibe of what's going on and we, we have some new information some crazy stuff <laughs> yeah yeah we, we have some new information to share with you is that a uh, t-shirt was not found today but it was found at the location that we went back to that was led to because of a reading so a reading had come out and uh, this was given to AK Aideen and overlooking the bluff and the trees and just the way everything lined up and go to the water and well you know kurt ended up going to the water and when he went to the water and he turned at the high water mark is an extra small blue shirt i mean to me that looks like a biker shirt i mean i understand that suzanne has a blue biker shirt as well so i don't know if this is we, right now we don't have confirmation as to if this is suzanne or not biker or cyclist cyclist I, I yeah, the shirt she had that AK was talking about was a Viking shirt. Okay. I, I Cyclist don't... shirt, yeah. Okay. So so this is a blue extra small shirt, but what's really strange about this is, is it's at the high water mark, and it has, and I'll show share it with you in a few minutes, um, but it has two, what appears to be two stab wounds on it. Also buckshot. Buckshot is um, like, a, like a shotgun where it like goes out and whoosh, splatters. And then also at the bottom of it is what appears to be um, human, um, what's waste, the problem? Human waste. Yeah. So like somebody, yeah, soiled themselves on this shirt at the bottom of it. Um, something else I want to share with you is, I guess let's get into the safety aspect of it. Many of you who have been following the Suzanne Morphy case may have also heard that other YouTubers and people that not just youtubers that, that have been talking about it but also boots on the ground have been harassed by a few people uh, I don't know I don't know if I want to go into too much detail about that but kind of like they've been driven driven out like you shouldn't be here um, I, I won't say that they've been threatened but their life they feel as though their lives have been threatened to the extent that the team that we were with today, you know, is an incredible team. You know, they have a military background. They're very um, methodical in the way that they move. So much so that watching over us last night while we were in town, you know, somebody was there watching over us all night. To while we were out there, boots on the ground today, we had to what they refer to as an overwatch. Right? Yep, yep. Overwatch so, team. So over, <clears throat> an overwatch team. Uh, meaning, you know, they had 50 caliber, sniper rifles and they are positioned properly to keep eyes on us at all times uh, our equipment us to make sure that our safety was you know top priority in this and i'll explain a little bit later as to the reason why we had to leave um near the end of this after we after we tell you more about this but we did have to pull out early because the overwatch team did not feel comfortable with comfortable with a few movements that were taking place around our rv um, while we were away from it down in the uh, river, as well as somebody that um, was tracking on the other side of where we were at that did not feel right to the team. So for that, we were pulled uh, out of the area. Um, let me just pull up a little bit more of this. Oh, sorry about that. I'm trying to get to some of my notes that we had just to make sure I don't miss anything uh, for you guys today. Um, this shirt that was found, so this, so this reading that came into um, AK. I don't call him AK or K, Kurt. I call him Kurt. Um, well, you're kind of bouncing around. So yeah, AK and Kurt. AK and Kurt are, the same, and Kurt are same, the same, same person. So as you know, the uh, Reverend, I forget what her name is, Deborah. I mean, Ed, there's a Reverend that does psychic readings, and you, uh, many of you that've been following the case, uh, know about those readings. And so anyway, coming back to the, our morning started with a, our intention was to cover four or five locations to search to do sonar to do diving if we spotted anything and part of those locations one was going to be a fish hatchery another one was going to be clear lake reservoir uh, another one was going to be you know some uh, ponds up north but the issue is is it's gotten cold in colorado and yesterday 
the, some of these areas were not frozen over. Today, the areas were frozen over, which means we can't put a boat in it, which means the sonar cannot drag through there, which means that we can't dive underneath of it either because now we have safety concerns uh, just as, as divers for that portion of it. So that took us off of three of our locations immediately today taking us to and that's why we ended up only on the one location this morning which was at the creek which is where ak had the that was driven to from the reading to then ak went in down about two weeks ago to where ak found this shirt after receiving the reading and going there and i'll go ahead and share the shirt with you now and at the high water mark say again maybe zoom in a little bit you might be able to show better uh, not not much there um, so here is the the shirt let's turn off that light see if that'll show up a little bit better uh, I'm not sure if that's how can we make that show up better Dan's really smart so he's gonna see if he can get it better for me there you go Dan yeah so what you guys can see is down here is where the um, the believed human waste is there's all kinds of uh, stab areas and a bunch of different buckshot. So whomever was wearing this shirt had a very, uh, very nasty encounter. And, and with this, the, you know, one is it's a female shirt. We cannot say that it's Suzanne's. What we can say is that this is where, this is where it was found, which takes us down into the river to not only search this area, but we started our search about 150 yards further down because about two weeks ago, there was crime scene tape up at the up at the road where they were doing some investigation where we don't know exactly what was found it's been mentioned that um a helmet may have been there uh, some shoes may have been there we don't know what all was there we were not a part of the investigation at the time um, ak doesn't know that information has not been released this uh, shirt was not removed from the area it was moved and positioned so that way it was not uh, tam tampering of evidence at that point um, the Shepherd County Sheriff's Office was notified for the new lead detective, a deputy, Zachary Tucker, was notified. Um, a few days later, uh, AK had went back to the location to see if the shirt was still there. It was still there five days later. Uh, here is where he ended up placing the shirt. He placed it uh, on this rock with another rock on there, and then he has, you know, some uh, special stones that mean a lot to him. Um, and he placed that on the stone. So when he went back afterwards, the stone had been thrown about five feet away from where the shirt was, but the shirt was eventually picked up uh, after, K, uh, after AK had reached out to CBI. CBI is Colorado Bureau of Investigations, as well as the sheriff. Um, here's a little bit closer, close up of the shirt as well. And with that, actually there's three stab wounds there. So take a, take a look at this. Tell me what you're seeing there. So we're seeing, you know, a stab wound up here, stab wound here. I just noticed another stab wound. It was it there or there? Anyway, look close on there. I'll hold it as still as I can. How about in the shoulder? What's going on in the top part? And I, I'll go back at the top. And then this is with the soil, what appears to be, you know, human soiling. So I believe. Oh, oh, yeah. There's another armpit, one up there. Yeah, up okay. Towards up, the yeah, area. up towards the armpit pit as well. So remember, uh, Suzanne went missing in uh, May, Mother's Day this shirt was located around the 17th of this month all right so this is to my understanding this is the first time we are releasing this picture for the very first time as i understand um kurt kind of struggled with the should we release this shirt or not uh, because he has turned it over to the uh, investigative team did does not want to ruin the investigation but he's also not heard back and so this is where you know we mentioned it you know before and that this is where you know the world is going is that it's coming down to we as a you know social network here uh what do you call it open 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 source, open, source open source investigations you know this is what ak's team is doing this is what um you know mike king is on here mike king with uh profiling evil in fact jacob you've got his link drop uh, his link in here um as well as ak is working with i, I want to say his name is brandon over there at tube crime so drop both of their links in here if you guys are not yet following them follow them um, because tube crime brandon ak and their team has been doing incredible boots on the ground 
military background, but not just military background. I mean, they come from you know all walks of life, as we we come from all walks of life, and you come from all walks of life. Like you here tonight, you're a part of this. We're all a part of this search to eventually, you know, Suzanne is going to be found. You know, did it happen today? No, it didn't happen today. Did it happen two months ago? No, it didn't happen two months ago. But eventually, she's going to be found. We were not able to. I I, I believe that. Here's here's one thing I want I touched on. We have a video coming out. So the, today's events, we have a video coming out on Sunday morning, 6 a.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Or, I'm sorry, 6 a.m. Pacific time, 9 a.m. Eastern T Standard Time. I got that right. Eastern time. Eastern time. Um, so we will have a video out showing our search today and a lot more information. And some of that information is going to be from another reading to where, uh, you know, what Barry's route could have been and why Clear Lake may be, if she was dumped in the water, you know, if she is in, you know, concrete encasing, that this Clear Lake location may be the place, but now it's frozen over and we were not able to get in there today. Um, what else did I want to mention? Um, Dan's got some stuff queued up as well. I, I also want to mention, do check out Jacob drop in profiling evils link because on Monday at five, I want to say 5 PM, Mike King, correct me if I'm, if I'm incorrect on this one, I believe it's 5 PM. And if you click on the link, it'll show you 5 PM Pacific time. I'm going to be over there and we're going to be talking more about Suzanne Morphy as well as, and I really want to talk to them about the Randy Leach case as well and give them a heads up as to some of the stuff that we found on that one. Because as I just mentioned, you know, this is becoming open source investigation with so many of us with, you know, Mike King and his team over there profiling evil with tube crime, with, um, 6 PM mountain standard time with, um, with you being here, the viewers, you know, leaving your comments, reaching out and, and helping out how you can. We have, let me turn this over to um, Dan also, and we're gonna show you some of the places where we were actually searching today. Mm -hmm. You know, we actually ended up at a mine. You know, one of the readings included, you know, water next to a mine. And the this mine here was part of a, was not even on the map. So this was almost like a hidden mine that we ended up finding. You see that we're breaking ice just to get into there. That's a AK there. and when we go in there, you know, it's about 12 inches, or I'm sorry, it's about waist, waist deep is how deep it is. There's, you know, those road tracks. So we're checking under that ice. We're, you know, looking to see if we're missing anything, um, you know, or if anybody's been placed in here. We're looking for, you know, concrete that somebody may have been encased in. Um, some of the other stuff, you want to pull up like the uh, river we're searching. So, you know, so we're, I'm also in the middle of the river. So I'm suited up in uh, dry gloves and uh, dry gear. And we're searching the creek looking for downstream 150 yards from where the shirt was found and heading upstream from where the shirt was found before we got pulled off and so i i'm inside look you know, i'm in making sure that nothing has been you know lost or nothing has been overlooked if there's <laughs> oh you you just showed where i just fell did you really did you cue that one up on purpose dan yeah so uh yeah took a little fell twice yeah took a little tumble oh oh is this after i got up yeah then i went almost right back down yeah yeah here just so that's probably that's yeah, awesome it was it was icy it was slippery <laughs> yeah there's a yeah jerry goes down a second time thanks for cueing that one up dan <laughs> jeez um, what a jokester yes thanks dan um so what, what we're going to share yeah the entire search that we did with you guys on sunday on that one we'll talk more about it on profiling evil on monday so do check them out. Uh, Two Crime has a lot, like I said, their, their boots on the ground. The power, the emotional, the raw energy from AK, he is so emotionally invested in this passion. as, as pa yeah, the passion behind it. The, as Sam and I, you know, Sam and I were talking about it, you know, we come into a lot of these cases and a lot of the families that we've met this last 40, 45 days that you'll see in these upcoming videos that we become so quickly connected and so emotionally vested that Kurt, you know, you'll see him break down in these videos as well because he's been, you know, we're 47 minutes into it and Kurt's already breaking down multiple times because of the, how vested he is in this. And the end, at the end of the day, you know, we, Kurt, you, everybody wants to see, you know, Suzanne home. And that's, you know, and that's what this is about. You know, there's, yes, 
at the top of this it says two hundred ten thousand dollar reward. We didn't we didn't even know about that today. We didn't, we're, know, we're, we didn't know until we rolled in. We're not here for that. We're here at the end of the day because somebody's missing, and that's what this entire road trip was about. And you know, and we're actually. I guess let me go into the we into the pulling out. So let me let me go into that portion oh, yeah. of it. So as we're in the river and we make it past about a hundred feet or hundred yards up past where the shirt had initially been found, across the radio comes you know information that there's a suspicious car that has circled my RV as well as has circled uh, AK's vehicle, which is about a you know I would say three quarters of a mile or so down down river down down river down the road from where the RV is parked in addition to that a surveyor was out a day a day ago or was it two weeks ago anyway there, there was a surveyor that was out because you, you could see his tracks in the snow no there's AK a said, I thought. okay so there was a surveyor out and by surveyor i mean is this maybe just one of those things where like they say they're a surveyor and they're really like undercover whatever um, we don't know oh, fat fingers i apologize uh, my fault um so is it one of those things where you know it's saying that we're surveyors just a you know code for hey i'm stuck in the and trying trying to keep eyes on you i don't know but what ended up happening is uh one of the uh overwatch gentlemen had identified that somebody was also tracking on the other side of the river they up were, above they were flanking us that they were just staying right next to us um, following along, kind of keeping an eye on us. You know, with that mixed with the fact that, you know, Jared's vehicle got, or the RV got circled, then, um, uh, um, then Kurt's vehicle got circled. You know, th these guys here, again, the Overwatch, they're up on the hills, you know, with their, with their, their scopes and, the, you know, their 50 cal sniper rifles. Um, yeah, these guys, are, you know, they're really uh, dealing with some, uh, you know, some gnarly threats. Um, and so they felt it was in our best interest to pull out. And so, you know, you know, our, us, you know, trusting them who know this case better than we do, who know the area, who knows what's going on. You know, we, you know, that's, that's what we do is, you know, we, we rely on, you know, people that know better than we do. And so we, so he said, Hey, we need to pull out. And so that's exactly what we did. Cause I have a problem. My, and my problem is, is I don't fear anybody. I believe that, you know, I, I believe that I'm a good person and that I believe that everybody else is are good people as well And so like if somebody was like to pull a you know weapon on me I'd be like come on now You're just messing around with me and, and like I'm not even going to take it seriously That's and so it's good that you know, I do have Sam. I do have you know uh, AK and his team because for me at no point did I ever feel Like I said, even if somebody's there with a gun in my face You know, maybe maybe if it's like directly in my face, but at no point do I I, I don't know what I don't know what it is in me. It's like there's just like a no fear thing for threats that come my way. I just don't take them seriously, and so it is. It is good that I've got you know, like I said, Sam and the AK team, and you know that they're there too. <laughs> Say okay, Jared. It's time to pull out. Yes, it's time to pull out. So I, I listened to them. We quickly moved up the hill. Uh, we did move back to the RV. We talked more about the case, uh, and you'll see that in the video as to Clear Lake and my feelings on Clear Lake, the reading that came in with Clear Lake, the images with a um, somebody that's lived in Salida, Salina, Salida, Salida, Salida for I think she said 50 years. So she's been a resident for a long time. That she has followed some of these readings, and she went up there and she took a picture. Like she knows the area. And so she feels as though, based upon two minutes off of what Barry's route, if, if Barry did this, I'm not saying that Barry did this. A lot of you guys are like, yeah, Barry did it. I wasn't there to say who did or what ifs. I was there to say, here's some bodies of water that have come up in his questions and speculation. And that's what our team was there to do today. Um, yeah. Th th this trip has been amazing. This was our last day of it. We, you know, we, we, planned on kind of heading home a little bit sooner we added a few extra stops in fact I think we added total, you know six or seven extra stops to our trip along the way and one of them was actually going back to Hampton Iowa and Ethan. for Ethan and that was I'm glad that we we went back to that yeah, one me too you know mm -hmm. the fam the family has Ethan home on that one and as we were talking about open source and you know, investigations that you know Ethan was an open source investigation we shared the information because somebody shared the information with us that put us there but then the video came out and somebody you know and again open source you missed this location go check this one out and, and we did 
And so we thank each and every one of you because, you know, Adventures with Purpose is all of us. It's you. It, you know, we're having the conversation with uh, AK today that, you know, about open source investigations and that we were out there in the river looking for, you know, Suzanne. And we were out there on an adventure with purpose. And it was an adventure. Like we found, uh, we found a really cool mine. We found, you know, the, the beauty of being out there, but also with the purpose of why we're out there. The purpose of why you're here tonight is to, you know, be a part of this and to help us out and to help, you know, Suzanne's, you know, uh, you know, children help locate her because, you know, Suzanne is going to be found. The truth is going to come out. It didn't happen today, but it is going to happen. So we want to thank everybody here that is here, that has supported us on this entire trip. Uh, those of you who become new members, you do have a new video out. We just released the Natalie uh, day one search. We're going to be releasing Natalie day two search. Soon. We're going to get this video from today out. Within so, the next week. So early, early next week, mid, mid next week. Mm -hmm. So we'll have the Natalie 2 video out. So if you are a uh, member who has put forth a financial donation uh, in that regard. And then along with that, we also have a video that's going to be out for everyone by the end of next week with Nug. Okay. So, so yes, yeah, so we have one a, where we pull a car. Yep. So we have a lot one of things. Where Sam puts a hole in the back of the RV. Uh, that's that's the hole in the RV one. Yeah. yeah. Um, so so uh, as a member, you know, our way of saying thank you, you do get the videos early as well as um, that's our way of saying thank you. Some of you have gotten upset, like, well, I can't afford it. I'm I, I'm sorry. I know no. I have no of I know of no other way to say thank you except to give videos early. But don't worry because all the videos uh, will be coming out publicly to everybody. We can't release every video the moment that Dan finishes them. We do have to keep on a schedule. So, you know, every Friday we get videos, and then uh, amazing stuff happening in November and December that we're going to be releasing. You know, multiple videos a week, and Thanksgiving week we're releasing a video every day for seven days. Um, and then right before Christmas also we have five or six days in a row that we're releasing videos But November December look for two to three videos a week that you're gonna start uh, receiving there for everybody um, On that note, let me spend the next five minutes and uh, kind of scan a few of these questions and questions. And you have questions and answers and go yeah. through that I, I don't think we have a car behind us like everyone is saying everyone says there's no no if, if somebody took the effort to follow us all the way to where we're at now let me just tell you I'll tell you right where we're at so we left Salida uh, earlier today we are now in Price Utah we are on our way to Oregon and Washington so we will I think we have like another 14 or 15 hour drive we're gonna be driving through the night, keeping things moving. Uh, we'll be taking, you know, turns sleeping, which is amazing with the with the RV. And so we should be home by in Red in Redmond and Bend by roughly eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So, um, got your shirt. I'm glad that you got your shirt. Let me. And tonight, I'm not shouting out all the new members, so I apologize. There's no shout outs oh, but, to, but to, to the members. Do, I think we need to do this. And the, but you, I just somebody just one of the, you guys just sent me this picture of your pet raccoon. I think that's wait a minute a pet raccoon <laughs> yeah that's a, that's their pet raccoon that's awesome okay um can you send the ra pet raccoon to me not just the picture but i'd like the ra <laughs> pet raccoon that looks pretty cool yeah, that was sent on my facebook um so anybody that has uh, donated for you know for our trip and for this to happen i really appreciate all of that because you know we have new gear that's going to be coming on board we might even be doing a four-wheel drive conversion to the on this rv this like one? i almost feel like we need it or might have to get a different RV and yeah, then do a four wheel. Do it on a different one. I think. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so any funds that come in, I mean, we are investing that in gear. We are investing it into the next trip. We do have the Nashville trip that's coming up in January. Um, you're not going to want to miss us on profiling evil in on Monday. You're not going to want to miss the video that we're putting out on Sunday. So I'll put the I know Jacob's dropping the link to profiling evil now, but I'll also put a um, I'll also put a link in the description also some other good news um bill simmons bill simmons in nashville although we're going back in january to pull out the 17 cars and look for bill simmons i i believe that bill simmons is going to be found before we get back because the open source investigation and everybody becoming a part of this there is an incredible karen and mike are really spearheading this over there in nashville that on november awesome. 6th and 7th or it's the 7th and 8th i forget which dates um, 
but there is a big movement going on with a bunch of fishermen with sonar and they have divers that they're heading out onto the river to in search of Bill Simmons. And this, this is the movement, this is what's happening. And this is why the information, you know, is so important that you're a part of this and you, you know, provide your tips and that you're just here supporting. Like it's, we're blown away at what this is already become in such mm -hmm. a short amount of time and we you know we thank each and every one of you for it um so anyway so a lot of you that did donate tonight like i said i can't shout out every one of you so i'm just going to focus on a few more questions because we do have a lot more hours to go and i don't want to be driving and doing this because i know that we're going to run out of cell service in a minute heading up the canyon here um you should look into buying a toy hauler um we do need a um oh good news cbi just reached out to ak good news so things are things are starting to happen things are happening because of today and what happened so this is good news i don't have the update on that one that text just came in from from ak um bill will be found yes uh i'll be out there so tara mason's gonna be out there to help thank you tara can you find the cowboys defense they're killing me funny okay uh any chance of looking for tabitha Aww. Uh, tutors in Nashville she's been missing for 17 years um, our specialty is underwater uh, search and recovery of vehicles so if she's in a vehicle please reach out to us that's our specialty that's how we can help the most to keep us moving forward um, Brock the Rock. KH Brock the Rock is in here thank that, you sir his four-year-old Brock the Rock's four-year-old's watching thank you Thank you, Brock the Rock. I love you, bro. Uh, Brock the Rock just bought himself an 03 dry suit as well, so yeah. he's going to be staying dry. Sam has his new dry suit coming as well. Triplets. Yep. Um, so <laughs> I, I, did, I did. I received a, a note. Official bill search is happening on the 6th and 7th is when that is happening. Um, I believe that that's going to be taking place at the Lock 2 Park. So meet at Lock 2 Park at the boat ramp on the 6th and the 7th. And let's see, you're a very nice person, Jared. You're very nice. Thank you for that. I can't wait to see more awesome work. Thank you. I'm reading the comments right now. Uh, why did you think and know there was a risk to your team for this case specifically? I don't know the background of this. Uh, please start at the beginning of this video. Uh, oh, I also want to mention um, there's another video and I'll put a link in the description. Her name is Natalie Tidsdell. Um, she's out of, um, she's out of Denver. She's a reporter. We did two different stories with her. She just dropped a new one about two hours ago with a little more information about today's case and some information that we provided to her as well. So check that out. I'll put that link in the description in about 15, 20 minutes after this live feed is over. So I'll put a link for it, uh, Tube Crime, Profiling Evil, and Natalie's uh, YouTube channel as well, and a link to the Denver News story on that one. Or if you just Google Denver, uh, uh, is some of the newest news coming out of Denver right now. Yeah, AK, we we want to give a shout out to your son, Cruz. What's up, Cruz? Yeah, Cruz. What's up, man? Cruz. I think he was like six or seven. Yeah. yeah. So what's up, Cruz? Hey, what's up, Cruz? Cruz. Had I had your dad reminded me, I would have sent a shirt home with him today. I didn't have a new shirt. I had like a like a jersey worn shirt. Like I wore it and then I ruined it. So I would have sent that home and I would have even signed it for you. So I do apologize. I totally forgot. I was supposed to. That was on me. Uh, let's see. Why would anybody be following us? Um, that was kind of covered, but the, on this case, you could just go back and do a lot of research on it. That uh, um, searchers in the area have been uh, harassed. Um, YouTubers that lives have been threatened. Uh, yeah, there's been a few people whose lives have been threatened. So. Um, Anyway, go go back, watch the rest of this feed. Start or the, or the go back to the beginning of this video. Watch it. And these these pictures are coming into Sam Sam the Adventure Man's yeah, Sam, Facebook Sam, page. Facebook, yes. So if uh, you want one of your pet photos or one of your photos to be shown over there, it's a, a way to connect with oh. Sam through there. Oh, this one's absolutely adorable. Look at the, that face. I'd like that dog. Yeah. 
Uh, where can we find AK on YouTube? So, oh yes, let me uh, be very clear on that one. So if you have any, um, you know, just comments in general, leave them in the video once the video is up down below. But as far as wanting to reach out and help and boots on the ground right there in helping AK and their team, reach out to Tube Crime and they're they are, they're gonna vet you like nothing else because uh, believe it or not a few people have uh, already infiltrated uh, the organization and uh, they did have to uh, take appropriate measures to protect what's happening so it's one of those things to where you know when suspects or friends of the suspects go to the crime scene to keep an eye on and you know they pretend to be your friend and listen in on everything that you know that's what's happening. There's, and it's also causing safety concerns within all this as well. Um, I think that's about it as far as questions I'm going to be able to answer for now. Um, if you have any big questions, do this. Do me a favor. Um, we have a few more things going on. We have uh, Tyson Draper for the uh, Draper Brothers. We're also going to be on their live on November 3rd. Um, I don't yet have a link to it, but when I do, I'll drop a link in this video down below. So uh, Tyson, make sure that I get that uh, that one. What was the other thing I wanted to mention? Oh, if you have anything, I'm going to be on, like I said, Profiling Evil. You are really... Um, that's a fox ruining my concentration over here. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's With, a, dude's got a fox. That's a fox. Why do you have a fox? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going yes. on, man? Raccoon is ruining my concentration. Fox is ruining my concentration. So anyway, where I'm going with this? If you're if you're looking to help tube crime reach out to them if you have any information or anything that you would like us to discuss in the next couple of days reach out in the comment section over there i there's I, well, i'll put the link down below to the tube crime or go or i'm sorry profiling evil for the show that we're going to be on on monday night whatever questions you have drop them in the comments over there and mike will make sure that he writes them down and that we can address those in the live so that's going to be the best way to move forward with this conversation that we're having here right now on that note i want to say thank you it has been the you know some people go to summer summer camp or they go to you're really ruining my concentration last one last one last one last one last one all right, last one. No more pet pictures tonight. <laughs> I ruined my concentration. This has been a, we were talking about like going to camp and forming the best lifelong relationship and friendships that you will ever have. Mm -hmm. Even if we were to like separate our ways here moving forward and we never work together again, like the bond that we have, by the way, we're not separating, um, <laughs> that's been formed here has just been like the most incredible thing that some people go to like a week long counseling sessions I don't, I don't know what they're called um but but it's like a life-changing event you know and this has been life-changing for me yeah mm -hmm. and we're not stopping like we need to go to we need to go back to nashville we have some stuff happening that we need to book for texas we have the cross-country trip that the fall time is the perfect time because the water levels are lower for this east coast trip to go like we cannot do it. We cannot do this yeah. trip in the springtime. And so we will schedule another 2021 trip in the fall time to how many can we, can we do? We have the possibility, it sounds like it's happening, you know, the 10 weeks of, of um, on the road for the new TV series that by the way, is not going to change what it is we're doing here because we'll be working in between yeah. all of this. So, yeah. so Adventures with Purpose is not going away. Adventures with Purpose is the brand. You are a part of this and Adventures of Purpose is just doing a show that will profile everything that we're doing here as well, which means we're not stopping what we're doing. It means we have more research, more investigation, and and more storytelling to, to bring you into the, to this with the how many more families can we help out along the way. So um, that will not hinder or stop us helping families. And, that, and that's what this has become. So thank you to each and every one of you. On that note, we have a lot of miles to put underneath of us. I think we still have like, I don't know, Price to Bend, to Oregon. It's a lot of miles. It's a lot of miles. And so. then, then me from Bend to uh, Tacoma. Yeah, he has another five hours after that tomorrow as well. But uh, everybody's looking forward to it. Do me one last favor before you guys go tonight. There's 5,400 of you on right now. There's only 2,600 likes. Help the YouTube algorithm. 
when this is over, leave a comment in the actual video down below, not just here on chat. Hit that like button. See if you can get that up to 4,000 likes before I even jump off here tonight. And where are you guys from? Let us know where you're from. Let us know in the comments. We're curious, you know, where, how far this span goes. So do like a little roll call and just kind of tell, tell us where you're from. Worldwide. Worldwide, absolutely. Worldwide. Yeah. We, I mean, we, I know we got a, a, a Australia on here. I know yeah. we've got UK, UK on here. Yeah, a lot of UK, a lot of Australia. Yeah. Um, we're up to 3,100 likes. Come on, yeah. guys. 3,200 likes. Push that to 5,000 for us if you would. There's 5,400 of you on here right now. So push that, push that. Like I said, it helps the YouTube algorithm, which is what helps us to be out here. So even if you're not donating you know, financially, you being here is the donation enough. And we thank you for that because every like, every share, every comment, every subscribe helps us be out here. On that note, Thank you, everybody. They got up to 3,500. I bet you they're going to get it to 4,000 before it's all over. Yeah, possibly. Um, what do you think? Normally, we bounce this over to Sam for a little so. more fun, but however, he has T-Mobile. We're heading up the canyon, the Price Canyon, as we make our way over to Provo <laughs> and then up to Salt Lake tonight and all the way home. So. Yeah, I'd love to I'd love to continue the conversation and talk to you, but I really want to get home to my kids yeah. and see my family and see my girlfriend. So I'm we'll have to have our conversation another night. Yeah, so thank you. And give me 15 minutes, and I'll have some of those other links in there um that's what i got yeah. that's it for now yeah. it's awesome thank you very much for being here that's it for now good game guys as we always say later later <laughs> bye bye bye, -bye.